Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. I wanted to uh, talk about uh, Sundial Growers. Uh, looks like the tug of war, the battle is on again today. Uh, come across some information here. Uh, Canadian MJ Company Sundial initiated as neutral at Cantor Rally. <clears throat> Uh, this is actually on uh, Market Watch. <clears throat> Looking at it here on my uh, phone, it's not working on my uh, computer for some reason. Uh, but they're rating it as a neutral. Um, and then I had some other information about uh, Sundial. If you uh, follow my channel, you know I've talked about this one several times. And it's in the uh, MJ space. Uh, I still have uh, my 170 here at a dollar eight, and a couple hundred more in a retirement. I think my cost base is around 60 cents on that one. But this is the most. I guess maybe I watch this one the most. This is the most volatile. What I can still consider a penny stock in the MJ um, that I've have. Um, Maybe there's other ones out there. Maybe I just don't watch them that close. But this one is just up and down. And it's tempting to buy more. But then I read more where it's going to dip. So I don't know. But uh, if you don't know what this one is. You can uh, pause the video and read that right there for yourself. As I've covered this one numerous times. I'll go ahead and link those in the uh, description as well. Uh, earnings is coming up on the 17th so that's a week from today so we could see some volatility uh, throughout the uh, next week as well um, so it's kind of bipolar readings on it today um, this one says stand clear as sundial uh, grower stock seems destined to keep plummeting uh, thanks to last month's hyping up on MJ stocks and Wall Street bets and other platforms, Sundial rallied from mere pennies to nearly four dollars per share in a matter of weeks. And I wasn't watching it then; otherwise, they would have dumped this one. <laughs> uh, since then, shares across the board have pulled back in a big way. Sundial stock will open today at around a dollar forty, and I think that's what it did. But then I think it took a uh, nosedive. You know, it was actually above that, so. Spectators who got in early and cashed out near the top are long gone. Those who got in late or have decided to hold on, watch out. Without massive hype online driving the share price, investors are starting to value this on its fundamentals once again. That's not a good thing for several reasons. First off, the... Canada-based MJ Company turnaround remains a work in progress until it posts better quarterly results. It's going to be tough to justify additional moves higher. Second valuation is sky high relative to its underwhelming fundamentals. Even at today's low share price at $1.40, the company's current market capitalization is around $2 billion. And I'll let you pause and read the rest there for yourself. After falling more than 67% off of its highs, shares may look cheaper uh, now than they did before. But it's still sporting a frothy valuation even in today's discounted prices. Uh, this just kind of goes over some more information. Um, I have CGC... I haven't bought any lately. I've been buying organic gram. And just did a video on uh, Cure Leaf last night. Cash position may help soften the blow. So I know they were raising some cash. Uh, you can pause and read that there. And then I come across another article. One analyst just gave Sundial Growers a big boost. So... I mean, this is on the same website, <laughs> unless I'm reading it wrong. This is March 10th. The uh, previous one is also March 10th. And it already says PM, so I'm thinking it must be AM. Uh, but one says to um, 
stand clear and then this one gave sundial growers a big boost so I don't know maybe that's why it's so volatile everybody doesn't know how to uh, analyze this one but the roller coaster ride in sundial stock looks ready to continue to thrill investors sundial stock is set to extend gains on Wednesday after a 17.8 surge yesterday and I was thinking about getting some uh, yesterday but then I uh, passed up I'm about knee-deep in uh, sundial as I want to be so it just hasn't done for me what I want it to do so and right here along for the ride uh, Canton Fitzgerald with initiated coverage of the uh, Canadian MJ company today with a neutral rating so this one's probably had a neutral rating on it even though they give it a higher or a lower rating because this is just all over the place any type of news it's up and down uh, right here it says sundial stock has been volatile to be sure sundial stock has been a poster child for MJ stock volatility in late January traders and we already went over that on the Wall Street bets uh, if you follow my channel and watched any of my other sundial videos I already went over all that and this is kind of an interesting article I've seen articles about this in regards to sundial before three MJ company sundial growers could buy for cash right now after raising cash multiple times in February popular MJ company sundial reported that its unrestricted cash totaled 610 million Canadian dollars it has raised an additional 110 million plus from Warren Exchange soon afterward and this just kind of goes over some companies that they could acquire um, extraction company the Valens company um, I haven't heard of this one yet has a market cap of roughly 250 million right now and could make in a for an attractive acquisition target for sundial uh, they help make a variety of products including vapes and beverages and sundial has shown an interest in edibles and Diva makes uh, MJ infused chocolate gummy bear and salt products I think I covered that on another video so I think they're kind of taking after Aurora I used to follow Aurora pretty religiously and uh, they kind of burnt me with their uh, reversed merger but Aurora was buying a lot of smaller companies up and trying to be the biggest one and eventually it kind of backfires I used to um, it was like a ping-pong match should I buy Aurora should I buy a Freya and I'd buy a little bit of both and then I started going for more Aurora and then they did their reverse merger and I'm still in the red on that one uh, the next that uh, Sundial could acquire is Oxley, another opportunity for Sundial to get deeper into edibles. In January, the company announced that it was the uh, top selling producer of the Canadian MJ market, which includes vapes, edibles, concentrates, and other products last year, even though it didn't sell products in every category. So that's kind of weird, even though it didn't sell products in every category. Huh interesting whether Oxley can maintain that position is debatable however as 2020 was only the first full year of the MJ 2.0 market was legal in Canada so I don't know maybe I just need to be more patient with sundial but um, I'm just afraid I'm gonna get burnt on it uh, you can leave your comments and uh, your feelings on it third on the list is IMMJ the Israeli based company is worth more than 410 million and is most expensive option on this list but one of the reason it makes it intriguing by is it would help uh, Sundial build a presence overseas especially since MJ remains illegal federally in the United States which prevents the Canadian company from expanding there and that's probably another hold up so so
So I haven't decided. Um, you can leave your uh, comments. I don't give tax, legal, or trading advice, but maybe you should just keep dollar cost averaging in and uh, get my position up to uh, 200 here in um, Robinhood and uh, call it good. Um, but I'm trying to get away from Robinhood as well, but uh, if you're looking for a different platform outside of Robinhood, I have uh, several links in the uh, description. Feel free to help yourself, whether it be... Uh, Weeble, Doe, Moomoo, uh, you can get free stock on all of those. Those are all good platforms. And you can pause and read the rest there for yourself. Uh, should you buy Sundial stock, Sundial has risen sharply in value over the past few months. And that might mute your returns if you invest in the company right now. My biggest concern is how volatile the stock has been of late. And same here. I don't like the volatility in this one. Uh, little jumps here and there, but this has just been kind of all over the place. Um, uh, like I know, and like we already went over Reddit and uh, Wall Street had a lot to do with that, but it just keeps going down. So, how much is Sundial Growers really worth? Has taken investors on last year the uh, Canadian cannabis or MJ producer lost 84% of its valuation at one point Sundial shares were down nearly 95% year to day but it's been a completely different story in 2021 the MJ company is now up more than 160% so far this year Sundial peaked in early February with 523% year-to-date gain all this volatility raises an important question, just how much Sundial Growers is really worth. Uh, like many of its peers, it isn't profitable yet. Therefore, we can't try to determine the company's valuation based on earnings. However, we can use another well-known metric price to sales. And this just kind of goes over some other price to sale, including uh, Canopy, Tilray. I have Canopy. I don't have Tilray yet. Um, I should uh, check the price on that. Aurora, I have some. And if you don't have Village Farms, uh, take a look at it. Uh, put it on your radar. It's kind of an interesting one. I have some of that as well. Uh, right now, free is my uh, outside of the... Uh, MJ ETF so free is my favorite and that's pretty much all that I have on um, Sundial we can uh, check what uh, stock twits has here on uh, Sundial yeah <laughs> that's what I say WTF is going on here yep every time I look at Sundial I think yep right there Not going below 130. <laughs> it's a good movie. Yeah, so a lot of the same feelings on here is what I have. NASDAQ still finding bottoms. I mean, everybody's still bullish on this one. Everybody's. Yeah, this I agree. Every comment on here I agree with in the last. So this one has a following, uh, but it just pisses me off. Um, if you follow my channel religiously and watched all my Sundial videos, my very first one on this one, I considered it a POS, which it was a POS. I think it was under a dollar at the time. And the moment I talked bad about it, it started going up. So I need to start doing more Sundial videos, and maybe it'll keep going up. So. 600,000 this person's bearish so but there's a bear here and there but everybody's still uh, bullish on this one so man I don't know everybody says it's a trap so a lot of the comments on here I agree with so uh, go ahead and leave your comments in and um, we'll see what we can get going with this one I haven't quite decided I've thought about dumping it several times but it's in the MJ space so it's gotta pick up at some point but 
Um, I missed that dip. I was tempted, but I was buying too many other things and was kind of cash poor that day. Otherwise, I should have bought some and then I should have just cashed out here. But if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing. Trying to get up to a thousand subscribers by the end of March, and I think we can do it. I think you can do it, and uh, everybody can help out the channel here and get my videos out to more people. That would really help out. And um, that is it for uh, Sundial today. I'll have some more videos coming out later today, so watch those. Make sure and hit the bell so you're notified when those come out, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.